We really cannot go a week without having some form of drama in gaming, everybody. Seriously, what the actual crap is happening in gaming? Wait for the climax. I got a bunch of things that I want to share with you guys. Wait for the video. Wait for the plot twist. But today, it's kind of different because you see, we have bad Xbox news, right? We got that. But more so than that, it's also the homies' birthday. Oh, shit. Yeah, so bad Xbox news, Dreamcast guys' birthday, guys. That's a recipe of disaster, everybody. Like, I, I wish I could say psych right now, but you know what? We're gonna end up smashing that like, but we're gonna like the video for the homie's birthday. Guys, come on, man. Let, let's be nice uh, to the homie, okay? Dislike the video. If you wanna see the uh, Fable video game character be a reality for all the video games, dislike the video if this is the characters you want from PlayStation and Xbox. I don't know, man. But actually, let's just dive right into the story. Now, to make the matter even worse, so earlier today, Xbox has shut down bunch of their you know uh studios including redfall uh hi-fi rush studio and hi-fi rush is considered to be one of the biggest xbox exclusive one of the biggest xbox game or pc exclusive xbox game generally speaking right so they shut down their studio and then they came out and they say that microsoft asked xbox gamers to feel the burn <laughs> today what uh, with yet another special edition xbox controller yeah on the same day it fired the the, the devs and shut down the studio Studio. We're not even talking, we're beyond firing devs at this point. They, this thing is just shut down everybody out there, right? And Phil Spencer standing tall, saying gaming for everyone. <laughs> yeah, feel the burn today, okay? Like the video if you're feeling the burn today right now, but also check this out, roll it. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Uh -oh. And today we're talking about the biggest Xbox L of all time. Microsoft has just closed a ton of Bethesda Studios, including the people that made Freaking Evil Within, which is one of my oh, favorite series no. of all time. Oh, I no. am actually frustrated, yeah. just like the rest of the internet. Everybody is mad about this, even a bunch of Xbox fanboys agree that Microsoft today completely sucks. But let's discuss <laughs> and pick apart this gigantic turd. Hi, I hope you're having a good day. If you could, give I'm not having a good day right now, bro. I'm not having a good day. I'm feeling the burn right now, bro. What else can I say? I'm feeling the burn today, bro. This video, a like and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, it's my birthday, yeah. so woo yay! I guess yeah. this is the best bad birthday present. I have no idea. Okay, so here we go. Microsoft announces the closure of Redfall developer Arcane Austin, Hi-Fi okay. Rush developer Wait Wait Tango GameWorks, and more in devastating cuts at Bethesda. Now, if you actually go through this, it is truly insane. Today, we're changing our direction for what we're doing with Bethesda and ZeniMax. Oh, man, it's all coming down to trying to double down on our franchise and make big, cool games. Okay, well, you're uh -huh. not going to do that by firing some of your best developers you now, know honestly i think i figured it out i think what happened here is that like they saw playstation and sony getting like the the negative press right they saw all the attention being directed to playstation and sony and phil spencer was like okay bro, bro like hey we, we, we don't want to stay behind right you know we need to one up and let's just fire everybody you know what sony has fired devs in the past we have fired devs in the past okay that's not gonna do much let's go ahead and nuke the studio yeah, and to make it even worse, let's nuke the studio that made Hi-Fi Rush. And to make it even more spicier, let's go ahead and release a, a special edition controller that says Feel the Burn today. I, I know I'd be kind of rolling right now. I wish I could say psych, but everybody say, uh, say hello to my bruh, bruh man from Starfield real quick. Arcane Austin is the people that originally made the Dishonored series, which everybody loves a bunch, the freaking Deathloop game, which got a yeah. bunch of Game of the Year nominees, and then they ended with Redfall. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I hated Redfall. I gave it a 4 <laughs> out of 10. I think it's completely garbage. But additionally, it's weird because they're shutting this down before it even finished its season pass. They actually sold the special $100 oh, no. edition called, like, Bite Back. It's just never coming out. Uh, and so they're oh, saying here, man. oh, we're going to make some make good offers. This is basically a legal out. They're shutting this company down so fast, they're literally trying to dodge contracts. Of, yeah. In a lot of countries, if you sell DLC, it has to come out or you have to give somebody uh, something of equivalent value. This is insane to me. So Arcane Austin will never get a chance to make another Deathloop oh, or Dishonored God. or anything actually good. They're ending with one bad game. Like, yeah. even as a person that hates Redfall, this is stupid. Why are you buying developers that are full of talented people, forcing them to make a crappy multiplayer experience, and then shutting them down when it isn't as big as their act? Dog, it is truly wild, right? Because they fire devs, they shut down studios, and then they go on a spending spree, buying more 
and then shut them down, and then, and then also shut them down. What the? What? What? What is going on right now? What is going on right now? It's like everybody's trying to one up each other, right? Like PlayStation had uh, has a massive f up, right? Stellar Blade, uh, they're trying to wokeify that game, right? First, we had that woke drama in gaming. It's still ongoing, by the way. It's still ongoing, right? Li this is what I'm saying. Like the video if you don't want to see characters like that. Yeah, Last of Us, PlayStation, it got that Abby. A dude that can even beat Brock Lesnar up. That's Bruh. how bad it's getting right now. And this is Fable, Xbox game. This is what we're getting. So we had this drama. It's still ongoing, by the way. Then, you know what? We hear <laughs> we, we hear PlayStation effing up the Helldivers 2 situation. Of course, everybody came together. I don't even want to give Sony credit, bruh. Like, you guys, everybody knows that. If people didn't came together, right? If we didn't talk about it. If you didn't talk about it. If you uh, didn't... Some of you also make videos videos let's be real if I didn't make videos if other youtubers didn't make video if you guys didn't make videos and if you guys didn't like talked about it shared it uh, collectively we collectively as a whole if all the gamers from all walks of life didn't come together though you know like guys come on now let's let's be real for a second okay it ain't even about Sony ponies or Xbox Andy's bruh credit where it's due of course but in this situation you know Sony was dying to get more signups for PlayStation Plus and you never know this was a conspiracy this was speculation but can you actually put this past them because a lot of people were seeing the writing on the wall that first of all they're gonna get a lot of the PC players to sign up on PlayStation Network and you know what you never know maybe five years from now ten years from now eventually you would have to buy the PlayStation Network subscription while playing on PC <laughs> So, yeah, and, and, you know, and, and see the problem with this one, whenever they have a massive F up like that, conspiracies are being born. People start speculating. I don't even blame people. I don't blame anybody because, uh, holy crap, like, we, we've seen literally everything in gaming. Like, what we don't have, like, $100 microtransactions, Call of Duty situation, right? BBC bundles, wokeifying the games, uh, community managers, trashing gamers, literally. Yeah, like, literally, BBC reporter, I'm not talking about that, uh... Call of Duty BBC, I'm talking about the British Broadcasting Channel. Bruh. Actual BBC from the UK, mate, uh, comes out, says that, hey, gamers need to be purged. Literally, that happened a, a month, two months ago at this point. We covered that. Uh, a lot of people also covered that. You probably are aware. Uh, yeah, gaming is, like, literally the only industry where you pay for a game to be insulted at. You you buy a pro... Nowhere else it happens, generally speaking. Of course, there are exceptions. But nowhere else that you go ahead, you buy a product, and then you are insulted right after for buying the product. Gamers get digged down so bad, it's just truly wild. Now more so than ever, devs are also included in the situation. So gamers, devs, all of us are getting digged down right now, bro. It's crazy. It's uh... actually good games. Alpha Dog Studios, so they've done a bunch of stuff to do like their mobile games. I don't care about that. This to me is the one that genuinely pisses me off. Tango Gameworks is going to be closing. We're oh thankful for their God, contributions bro, to Bethesda like... around the world. Hi-Fi Rush will continue to be available to players. Look how tiny this blurb is. Yeah. This <sighs> is so Hi-Fi Rush, yeah, like they, they tried to put it in between. Yeah, I, I guess gaming for everybody, guys. Gaming so for everybody. Deeply disrespectful. Tango Gameworks rocks. This is the freaking studio made by Shinji Mikami, the creator of Resident Evil, essentially basically went, okay, I'm going to leave Capcom and I'm going to make my own version of Resident Evil. I'm going to make my own horror games. And he did that. And they're great. Ghostwire Tokyo was another interesting, cool, gigantic addition to the Tango Gameworks roster. And just all of that is being completely undone. Next up is Roundhouse Games. So these are a bunch of like their tinier supplemental studios. Yeah. But it's wild that they just cut so I much stuff. <sighs> Oh, these... and, and they, they paid what, like seven, eight billion uh, for Bethesda, if I'm not mistaken, seventy billion for Activision, and they bought like other stuff. So let's just say closer to eighty billion, eighty-five billion, right? Collectively, as a whole, maybe more, maybe less, right? Give or take. But the the the, the craziest thing here is that these suckers paid almost around eighty billion, and they started firing. They started they started firing everybody, everybody. And they recently fired like almost 1,900 people from Activision, <laughs> Activision as well. And now they had to one of that and shut down the studios too. Yo, could you imagine? Like, I don't think this ever gonna happen. But like, just imagine this, right? Eventually, we we find out that they have shut down Activision as well. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Right? Like, cause you know what? Call. We don't need Call of Duty. We don't need Call of Duty. We. 
fun to get Call of Duty, but right now, we don't need Call of Duty. Imagine these suckers actually, <laughs> imagine these suckers actually <laughs> shut down, <laughs> shut down Call of Duty. I know a lot of you like, oh, I don't need Call of Duty, I, I don't need Call of Duty, you know, they, they can go pound sand, but then it's like, I, I, I hear you, I hear you, okay, whoa, I hear you, okay. But, but yeah, right? Imagine they shut down for a second, everybody's gonna be celebrating and whatnot, but then it's like, a day later, everybody's gonna be having like withdrawal symptoms though. Bruh. Call of Duty withdrawal symptoms. So there, there's like literally no winning. I mean, these suckers have shut down the studio of Hi-Fi Rush. Now, uh, granted, Hi-Fi Rush is not on the level of Helldivers 2 in terms of popularity, but this game received really, really well. And it's a unique IP as well, something that I would say PlayStation don't have. So you know what, if you like this game, this can be, and if Xbox were to decide to make Hi-Fi Rush 2 and similar games and uh, games uh, uh, in different genres, but maintaining the same level of quality, this could have put them on uh, higher up on the list for people, right? For example, what I'm trying to say here is that, like, uh, if PlayStation were to F up, and they had a massive F up recently with Helldivers 2, right? But at least, like, they didn't shut down Arrowhead. <laughs> they kind of did, metaphorically speaking, but now they have undone all of that, which is good. But because everybody spoke about it, first of all, it's, uh, I'm not even giving Sony that credit right now. Uh, I'm just saying, like, gamers came together. That's how we got the change. Otherwise, you already know that they wouldn't be doing that. But but could you imagine like Sony shutting down Arrowhead completely, shutting down Helldivers completely? Th this is what they did to their to their Golden Goose, or uh, not necessarily Golden Goose, Goose because it's not that big. But still, it, it's a good game, and they said the game was successful. So changes are not a reflection of your creativity and skill. We respect what you do. Okay, let's take a look at some reactions because uh, uh, even very lies. hardcore Xbox people are lies. downright. Pissed. Oh, we need to make better games. Oh, we need to shut down our singular Japanese studio. Yeah, yeah, Xbox is never going to have any sort of... Uh, I mean, they're never going to have any sort of push in Japan. Xbox is just completely given up on that entire part of the world. They're just yeah. going, okay, Nintendo and PlayStation can take over. Look at this. Microsoft struggles for years to make an acclaimed first-party game exactly, with a unique yeah. identity. Then they make Hi-Fi Rush, and then they immediately shut down Hi-Fi Rush. Them down, yeah. We're not even talking about their other stuff. Like, the fact that Arcane also made Prey... Oh my god, I'm legitimately frustrated because it is bonkers that so many fantastic games, they buy studios that make the best games, and then the second they have one tiny screw up, they immediately cut it. This is the director Crazy, of Deathloop. Bro. This is one of the main freaking people at Arcane. But but it makes sense, right? Because Microsoft, they got so much FU money, like three trillion plus dollars. Oh my god, that's holy crap like that's insane amount of money right kind of really got two pennies or something like that Bruh. right over so when you have that much money i guess 100 billion dollars buying all the studios they're like whatever bro like we buy them we shut them down whatever bro whatever but could you imagine like one day they, <laughs> they shut down activision and call of duty oh my god oh my god yeah if they do that that would be actually insane that would be like nuclear level of drama this is absolutely terrible. Permission to be human. To any executive reading this, friendly reminder that video games are an entertainment cultural industry and your business as a corporation is to take care of the artists and entertainers so they can create value for you. He goes through such a long rant about how this is just terrible for gaming in general. If you want these people to be making big, cool, crazy stuff and you're giving them the budget, maybe give them a chance to actually create instead of firing Everybody, the second there's the tiniest bit of a misstep, th this is truly bonkers to me. I, I don't think I've ever seen a layoff this big, maybe ever. Why did you buy Bethesda if you're just going to immediately rip it apart? Here's Clio Brile talking about it. He is a very hardcore Xbox fanboy, and he's straight up saying, this is devastating, like, especially Damn. for Xbox people. So if you're yeah. only an... Ex now, I, I personally, like, I'm not a Bethesda fan. I said it before, I'll, I'll say it again. Uh, uh, I'm not into their games. I don't hate their games. Uh, I don't like their games. I just never really played their games. I, I'm not the target audience for it it's not uh my taste but i truly understand it's like same thing right for example though um you guys know i'm a massive uh i'm big on gta right hopefully gta 6 is not gonna be woke first of all i don't know guys i don't know like whoa uh, i hope it's a good game we waited 10 years for that game so it's like the same thing right for example if i, I can sympathize i can understand where the fans are coming from right if you're a fan you're upset by it i i get it because it's like for for example for me i'm a i'm big on gta right if tomorrow we hear Rockstar Games shut down, 
if GTS is shut down, then there goes, there goes. Then you're gonna hear me say, well, I'm, a, I'm gonna become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet because then I will think about like settling myself in a, on a mountain in Tibet. You feel what I'm saying? Bruh. Xbox owner, your exclusives are coming to PlayStation 5. Game Pass is kind of crappy right now because there's no big, great new games. And additionally, the games you may have been hoping to finally get some sequels from the studios you actually enjoy. Well, those studios are getting shut down. Whoop de doo! Oh my god, this is ridiculous. One of the best Xbox games in years. Yeah, let's shut down that studio. L literally every tweet is that this is insane and that consolidation is a negative Bad. thing. I am annoyed. Oh, no. I better not see a single person in the comment section being like, oh, Xbox just wants to compete. Remember the Xbox fanboys that were saying, oh, Microsoft's buying up everything under the sun will create better games and more safety nets and they can be more experimental and create bold new ideas. All of that was a lie. <laughs> None of this is leading to anything good. Straight up, Microsoft pulled the plug, threw you out the door, and said, good luck, hope you make better games for some other company in the future. This, oh my god, I'm legitimately annoyed. I'm sorry I seem like such a drama queen. I'm annoyed specifically about the Tango game works. Okay, I know I, I hear that. I mean, I understand being upset, but like, as fans, you can... I mean, I don't want to say you cannot do anything. Okay, yeah, sure, what's your opinion? But I feel like that you're being a little bit of a drama queen that I agree with. But uh, uh, being upset, I understand that. And voicing your opinion, I understand that totally. Like, if you don't like this change, definitely talk about it. I mean, in fact, I'm talking about it too. Uh, I don't think... Okay, Redfall? I mean, I, I... I, Yeah, right? Okay, I get that if you were to shut down Redfall Studio. But do I want to see people lose their job? Nah, absolutely not. Do I want to see the studio being completely shut down? Nah, absolutely not. But Red for Redfall, okay, I kind of understood because the game is so bad, so trash. But the the idea behind Redfall was actually good. It's just that the execution was poor. They just needed a lot more time, I guess. Uh, it's not even necessarily about needing more time. That's okay, yeah, give them more time, but more so than that, it's about the management, right? Like, Xbox managing management aspect is just so bad, right? Like, games games are coming. We heard that every year. Like, Phil Spencer say gaming for everybody. Stay patient. Games are coming. Games are coming. He says that every year. It's like a running meme at this point. Says that every year, right? But for Hi-Fi Rush, that's the part a lot of people are confused with. I'm also confused with because Hi-Fi Rush is... Uh, they said that it's really, really good for Xbox, it's successful, hey, look at us, we launched it, it's very, very good. Now, I'm now inclined to believe that maybe, perhaps, it did very well in year one, but afterwards, it kind of just died? Potentially, maybe, maybe that's why they shut it down? I'm just trying to make sense of it. Uh, if you guys uh, have any insight, definitely uh, let it uh, let me know in the comments. Same, because and everyone else everybody, well. if you actually look at the Tango Gameworks fan Twitter accounts, which I do literally daily, everybody's always talking about, oh man, I can't wait till Tango comes back and makes another horror game. I can't wait till we see Evil Within 3 or Ghostwire 2 or something like that. These companies, even if they make a singular bad game, like let's admit it, Redfall did suck, they have a yeah. chance to bounce back. They have a chance to redeem oh, yeah, themselves. Absolutely. They have a absolutely. chance to actually do better next time. This permanent capital punishment is good for nobody. I, I would bring in Cyberpunk, for example, right? Cyberpunk got a cult-like following right now, though. Initially, it did so bad. We were all there to witness it. It did so bad that even PlayStation started giving refunds. Even PlayStation started giving refunds saying, hey, man, once you buy a game on PlayStation Network, bro, good luck. It's no longer your money. <laughs> it's their money. If the game even sucks or it's buggy, you're never going to get the money. Once uh, you give the money to Sony, it's their money after that, okay? Like, you would forget about it, though. I, I would say that Xbox might be a little bit nicer, uh, although I don't have Xbox, so I, I don't know about it, like, how their refund policy is, but I would like to believe that Xbox is a little bit more uh, consumer-friendly, though, in terms of that, right? Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. You guys uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know for the fact that Steam is by far the best. They give you two-hour trial. I mean, damn, homie, like, that's that's probably a deal, but then you have games like The Day Before. You remember The Day Before? Those suckers made sure that the first two hours of that game was actually good, so you would play through the first two hours. It would work fine, but after two hours, well, uh, you know what happened after that. After that, it was just like, hey, whatever. But, but still, though, Steam pulled through and they started giving everybody refunds, so shout out to Steam right now, man.
Look at this. Oh my god. Doesn't matter if you make a bestseller, an award winner, or a cult classic, you're going to get shut down by corporate sooner, sooner or later. Or later. I hate the fact that... I, I, I want to end with this tweet because I feel like this is the wisest of all of them. So this is MVG, Modern Vintage Gamer. He works for companies. He's made his own game engine. He's probably yeah, ported yeah, yeah. games that you personally have oh, loved. Wait for it. And he straight up says, the industry is screwed. Whatever mix it is of bad budgets and stupid freaking CEOs and very heartless executives, gaming is in a spot that is downright bad. And he says like this, people keep telling me there's no crash. And I feel like this yeah. is the final point that we need to actually... We, 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 we really are in a gaming depression. We're really in a copium stage right now, guys. It, it's just Joe over. Back in the 80s, when I was born, there was a video game crash where there was so much garbage stuff being churned out from every single company of Atari and stuff like that. They were just making the laziest, weirdest games. There was actually a Atari game based on dog food. Obviously, it was just a bad time. It was the Wild West with no restrictions, and because of it, people got bored instead of being entertained, and the industry very nearly died, and Nintendo managed to swoop it in with the Nintendo seal of approval and kind of bounce it back. The video game crash of the 80s was very bad, but since then, everything has managed to recover, to rally. Yeah, yeah, video game yeah, graphics yeah. have gotten better, games have gotten bigger, the worlds have been more fun, online crazy experiences have been so, honestly, such huge leaps forward in social engineering and stuff. My thought is the fact that it is bizarre that after all of this, we're seeing another video game crash. Yeah. And nobody even wants to acknowledge it. Yeah. But this has just been some off-the-cup thoughts. Guys, what do you guys check out this video on the screen because recently this happened. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Uh, this drama just does not stop. You think the battle is uh, won, but perhaps, guys, uh, we got another one coming up. Check this video out. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yeah, second channel, guys, second channel. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.